All right, last review of the week. We're going to talk about solving for x. Let's start with um, kind of a basic one. Remember, our goal in all of these is going to be to get x by itself. And we do that by moving everything away from the x over the equal sign. So I have a plus 5 here. I'm going to move it over. When I move that over, <clears throat> my operation changes from addition to subtraction. So what I have now is 3x equals 12. Now I need to move my 3 over. I'm going to work up here. When I move that over, the operation changes from multiplication to division. I don't know why I put a 2 there. Hold on. To division. If it will simplify, I need to go ahead and simplify that out. 12 divided by 3 is 4. If it doesn't, just leave it as a fraction. All right? Now let's look at this one. Order of operations says we start inside my parentheses. I can't do anything, so I look outside. There is a 2 there, so I need to distribute that 2 into my parentheses. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 1 is 2. And now I just start moving things away from the x. I'm going to move my plus 2 over. It's going to become minus 22 minus 2. So 2x equals 20. Move up here. Now I'm going to move my 2 over. I'm multiplying it he uh, here. When I move it over, it becomes division. 20 divided by 2 is 10. All right, this one adds another step. And that step is that uh, the idea is we need to get all of our x's on one side and all of our non-variable terms or all of our terms with just numbers to the other side. So I'm going to move my 5x over here. When I do that, the operation changes from the understood plus to the minus. Now I'm going to move my 12 over. When I do that, the understood, or not the understood, the plus 12, oh goodness, the plus, hold on, becomes a minus. So now I have 7x minus 5x, which is 2x, equals 26 minus 12, which is 14. I'm not done. X is not by itself, so I'm going to move it over. It's going to become 14 divided by 2, which is... 7. Same thing here. I'm going to move my 2x over. That minus is going to become a plus. Now I'm going to move my minus 5 over. When I move the minus over, it's going to become a plus. Simplify things. I get 6x equals 49 plus 15 is 64. Get rid of my 6, 64 over 6. That's not going to simplify down. However, it will reduce. I can divide both of them by 2, and I'm going to get 32 over 3. And that is how my answer is going to stay. And when we're dealing with inequalities, remember inequalities are like greater than or less than. We're going to solve them just like we would um, if it was an equal sign. The only thing is if we multiply or divide by a negative, this, the direction of your inequality symbol changes. So let's just work through these. Pretend it's an equal sign. Move your x over. Move your 4 over. So when I move everything, and I'm going to kind of do this quickly because we, we know how to solve for x. 3x minus x. When I move that plus over, it becomes a minus. Keep my sign. 2 minus 4, my plus becomes a minus. Simplify my like terms. So 3x minus x is 2x. 2 minus 4 is negative 2. And then to get rid of this 2, I move it over and divide. I'm dividing by a positive. Remember, no sign is an understood plus. When I divide by a positive, the, so the symbol thing, the inequality symbol, doesn't change. Now, negative 2 divided by 2 can simplify to negative 1. And this whole thing, x is greater than negative 1, is the answer. Now, let's look at this one. First thing I'm going to need to do is distribute this out. 
I'm not touching my 4x, I'm not touching my 9, and I'm not touching my sine. Negative 3 times negative 4x is positive, oops, I don't need to write the positive, is positive 12x. Negative 3 times 2 is negative 6. Now I'm going to move my x's over and I'm going to move my um, non-variable terms over. My understood plus 12 is going to become a minus 12x. Don't change your symbol yet. Only need to focus on multiplication and division for that symbol change. Negative 6, keep your sign with that. My minus 9 is going to become plus 9 when I move it over. 4x minus 12x is negative 8x. Negative 6 plus 9 is 3. Now I'm going to move a negative x over. When I move it over, remember the operation changes, not the sign. So in this case, I'm dividing by a negative. So my symbol that is a less than symbol is going to become a greater than symbol. 3 divided by negative 8, and it can't reduce. So when you have one number in a fraction that's a negative, the whole thing becomes a negative. So technically, my answer would be negative 3 over 8. Now I will tell you in your uh, homework thing and on your test, everything will simplify to a whole number. So just remember when, it, when it's an inequality, you solve it the same just if you multiply or divide by a negative the direction of your sign flips. All right, if you guys will get on and do the um, review three homework section. This one is a multiple choice, so it's set up slightly different, but it's, it's pretty um, user friendly. So let me know if you have any questions.